press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. On Tuesday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced a 21-day nationwide lockdown as a step to curb the pandemic. Despite essential services, including grocery stores and pharmacies, being exempt, people have been rushing to markets and resorting to panic buying. A little thought and planning is enough to set up a well-stocked pantry and tide over these troubled times. An imperative part of the Indian diet are grains and pulses. Apart from rice and dal essentials, keeping rajma and chana handy is recommended. If nothing else, these can always be made into a chaat as a snack. It is also suggested that you sprout a lot of dal. They make for great vegetable replacements, especially now. The trick is to stock up on nutrient-dense food which doesn't occupy too much space but adds flavor to your food. An Indian kitchen cannot function without a set of basic masalas powdered haldi dhania jeera mirchi and hing as well as whole mustard and whole jeera but given the diversity of india every community will stock their own spices and masalas fresh vegetables might not be easily accessible during the lockdown so opt for hardy ones which do not perish easily these include apart from onions and potatoes arbi beetroot sweet potato etc fruits and vegetables can be pureed frozen and stored too tomatoes can be pureed and frozen taken out in helping as and when required bananas can be mashed and frozen then had with yogurt apples can be stewed with jaggery put in a jar and had with bread or rotis Dry fruits are a storehouse of nutrients. Simple dry fruits which are not super expensive can be consumed in small quantities. For many who depend on takeout, the lockdown has forced them into the uncharted territory of a kitchen. For basic functioning, one just needs 3 or 4 things. Something flat, a tawa or skillet to make rotis, dosas or to reheat items, saucepans of different shapes. a couple of ladles and flippers to flip omelets a kettle to make tea